South Korean and US troops have been conducting live fire exercises this week to hone their ability to respond to potential Hamas-style surprise artillery attacks by North Korea. They conducted joint combat drills involving drones, an unmanned vehicle and wearable laser sensors this week as part of efforts to modernize their militaries. The three-day fighting exercises which began Wednesday involved 5,400 South Korean and US soldiers, 300 artillery systems, 1,000 vehicles and Air Force assets according to South Korea's military. The training came as South Korea's military conducts a series of annual Hogok autumn exercises aimed at improving responses to North Korea's nuclear and missile threats. The two forces regularly conduct live fire and other training, but this week's drills come after Hamas' October 7 assault on Israel-raised security jitters in South Korea, which shares the world's most heavily fortified border with rival North Korea. More than 120 soldiers from both sides joined forces to fight against a trained team of opposing forces in a mock-up town that appeared similar to the North Korean capital of Pyongyang, built at the Korean Combat Training Center in the mountains in the eastern city of Inji. The drills also mobilized various high-tech weapon systems aimed at beefing up future combat capabilities, with the troops wearing multiple integrated laser engagement systems that is MILES, which uses laser to stimulate actual battle. Several drones were flown for reconnaissance purposes, some also firing an assault rifle with South Korea dispatched a multi-purpose unmanned vehicle to carry wounded personnel. Choi Jeong Tu, a captain of the South Korean Army's 25th Infantry Division, nicknamed the Tiger Brigade, said the unmanned asset and the Miles gear helped identify enemies and gauge the Allied troops' casualties. He said that they were able to confirm the enemy's movements using the drones and hit them with the cutting and strike equipment, which allowed them to maximize the results of the operation while minimizing damage to their forces. First Lieutenant Derek Shen from the 2nd Striker Brigade Combat Team of the US 4th Infantry Division said the drills offered an eye-opening experience and the assets would be beneficial in future combat operations. South Korea's army launched the Tiger Brigade last year as a pilot unit for future warfare operations using artificial intelligence-powered drones and highly mobile fighting vehicles. It aims to transform all combat units based on that model by 2040. South Korea and the United States have been expanding their regular military drills in the face of North Korea's advancing nuclear program. Since last year, North Korea has carried out more than 100 missile tests. Some of them stimulated nuclear attacks on South Korea and the US. The army also held what it is called its first international future warfare competition for five days until Saturday, participated by some 300 troops from five countries including Britain, Uzbekistan and Cambodia. News Desk, Kerala Kaumuthi.